All right, guys. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is my first video of 2023. I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas for your family in the most incredible new year. I wish you guys the very best of health, happiness and fortune for the year of 2023 coming. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing the new Bug Bunks uh, Medium Enclosure. Now, this is the new design. Uh, I have done a previous unboxing. I'm not gonna go full detail of doing the whole box and unpacking and stuff like that. I have done one uh, previously, which I'll link up top with you guys and go ahead and check out. And you can actually compare the old design to the new design. But as we go along, I will of course speak about them and speak about it and give my opinion on things. So this is the new medium terrestrial enclosure. Now they were previously glued. Um, it took a few extra days to get them because they had to wait for the glue to set and stuff. But these are the new, um, I just said the name of it. These are the new uh, flat pack versions. So now there's supposed to be some side braces or something along the way. Um, with these flat packs, it means you can get the orders a lot faster than what you did previously having to wait for them to be glued. But I think it's pretty much just the same, just a slight different change. Uh, so with that being said, like I said before, I'm not going to do the full unboxing and stuff like that. I'll get the stuff out, we'll go through the video, we'll see how it looks and uh, yeah, I guess we'll go with the flow. So yeah, let's dive in. So first of all, you can see it is packed nicely. I'll wrap the chair. Got some instructions and the bubble wrap. So what I'll go ahead and do is we'll get everything out and inside. So this was packed very nicely. Of course, the enclosure is here. Flat packed, bubble wrap, taped together. We have the instructions. It was also packed very nicely with the packing paper. So what I'll go ahead and do now is I'll get everything out. I can see already the acrylic has the protective plastic uh, sticker over it. So I'll get everything out. I'll remove the plastic and then we can just go ahead and dive straight into the building. You guys don't have to wait and watch me do the boring stuff like unpeeling the plastic. Actually, I tell you what, I know some people find that stuff very satisfying. We'll do one. I'll peel the plastic off one for you, right? So before I do go ahead and actually remove the plastic from this, there is actually stickers on all the sides that tells you this is the base and this face is outside. So obviously that bit will go facing that way. Um, and it's the same with the sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel these off and I'm gonna set them in a way that I know whereabouts they actually go, which way they face. But yeah, really cool. So these tell you which, which way they also face. So this bit here will be to the outside. Right, so moving on to the instructions. Now, these look pretty simple to follow. Obviously, it tells you medium terrestrial enclosure, has a picture of it, you need more help, go to info uh, at bugbungs.co.uk. Contents, your four enclosure legs, your four bottom corner connectors, your 12 centre top connectors, your substrate tray, you have one of them. Uh, side braces, now these are the actual bits that um, mean you don't need to glue the enclosures no more. So that gives it the support there. But yes, yeah, so we have four of them, two left and two right. And um, we have the sliding lid holder, two left, uh, A times two, a left and right version. This is the uh, non-stacking one. Um, you can actually stack these. One more quick thing as well, um, old gen version, if you have them already, these don't, they don't stack with these models. These models are stacked with themselves and the older gen will also like, stack to them. But uh, yeah, anyways, this is the non-stacking version. We have our M3 by 8mm hex screws, 32 of them, and M3 12 uh, hex screws, we have four of them. So instructions look pretty uh, simple to follow. I'm not going to read through the entire thing because that's just going to be boring for you guys. I'm not going to read it out anyways, I will read it myself. But it just basically tells you to take the perspex labelled as the base and put the four screws into the enclosure legs with the... Uh, with the corner block so I'm basically using one of them with the bottom base on with that on on the inside so that is the first part uh, once that's in we want to take the sides and the backs and get them in then add the substrate tray and then we're gonna add the front and the side braces and then we get the tops on get that all screwed in and then of course finally little slip straight in 
Right, so now that I'm set, I have all the little pieces around me that I'm going to be needing. I need the four legs, the four corner blocks, and the center, top, and bottom connections, which will go on there like that as well. So what the instruction tells me to do is to add the leg underneath, like so. Put the block over the top. Now this has two holes in, uh, two screw ports, one at the front, one there, and also one on the bottom part. So the bottom hole needs to line up with that one. That'll go like that, and we need to screw this in together. Right, so what I've done is I have already put the screw into the bottom so that it is sticking through. That'll allow me to sit the acrylic on comfortably. So now that is sitting onto there, this block can now be lined up like so, and then I'm going to quickly flip it over and start screwing. and that has now held in place. So as you can see now, we have all four screwed in from the bottom only, not the sides just yet. I did actually screw one of the corners in and then I had to check the instructions and realized that me being lazy, I didn't read it properly. I skipped it, it tells you not to do so. I had to take them out on one side. Um, now we will get this, these connection parts put onto these bits. So we'll go ahead and we'll get that screwed in now. So if you look at the shape of this, you'll see one corner actually has the sloped edge. That sloped edge faces on towards the inside of the enclosure. So I've actually went and placed the Allen key down somewhere and I don't know where I've placed it. So I had to grab another one. Stupid me, it'll turn up here in a shortly. But yeah, just like that. So that is now screwed in. And that will now leave us looking like this. So as you can see, those sloped edges are all facing inwards. I've only screwed them in from the bottoms. I haven't done these ones from the sides and I've also left these loose. So when I do put in the acrylic sides, I can get them in nice and straight. And then at the end, I'll go around everything and tighten it all up. <clears throat> so the next thing to do now is to grab the sides, the front and the back slot them into position so if we go with our first side like this and line that up with the holes two sides we have a front and there we go so that is all sides are now slotted in and lined up so now using 12 of the small uh, screws again we're going to go around all the bottoms so from the center blocks and the sides and we are going to go ahead and screw them all in again i'm not going to go fully tight with them get them in nice and snug and at the end like i said we'll tighten the whole lot up together on one right this is all the screws now all the way along the sides and bottom tightened in not all the way haven't fully locked it i've literally just uh, made it nice and snug so the instructions do tell you as well don't go fully away with it when you're tightening it because you need to have a bit a bit slack in here basically for to get the substrate tray in so that is next so getting the big substrate tray it's going to give us a little wiggle in here oh went through perfectly actually And uh, there we go, that sits nice and tight. Now I know there is a bit of a shimmer from the light, if that's the right way you can see the shine, so you can't really see it that great, but it slots in nice and perfectly over them screws and the connectors, connectors, connectors. So that sits in very nice and snug. So I'm very pleased with that. Now in the instructions, it does show you that one of the panels is off and that is literally just to give you a bit of clarity so you can have an easier view. But if you just follow this step by step, uh, you will have no issue. Now the next bit is these side braces. So we have two different side braces here. We have one facing one way and one facing the other. And basically they go on the sides facing into each other. So the flat front and the back will have the short sides at the top here and the sides will face each other. They'll be going on like that, which I'll show you. So here we have the side braces. We have the short front here, eh, the side, sorry. And this is the front and back coming along. So like I say, these long parts here are gonna be pointing at each other on the sides. Now down the bottom of the legs here, um, there's actually a small gap 
I'm not 100% sure if you can see this, but that flat part at the bottom that has dual lips on will slot into that gap. Once that is slotted into the gap, you're going to get another one of these pieces that has the angle on. And same again, that will go in sideways like that and we'll screw it in from the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand feed it on just to get the screw in. I'll then grab the Allen key to hold the screw in place, line it up with the connector and begin to twist. Done. So I'll repeat that process all the way around and we'll come back when it's done. Right now all four corner pieces have been screwed on halfway up and now the next part is to get the sliding lid holders. So this is the sliding lid holders here. We have the fat block end here which I will be placing at the back and I'll have it drawn out at the front. So I don't know if you guys can make that out or not. Um, but there is a little lip here what the acrylic slides into. So whichever way you place this, front or back, is where the lid will be sliding out as it will be closed on the fat end. So this bit here is the entrance, so make sure both them bits are facing in the same direction and that is where your lid will slide into. So obviously the connections are done down the bottom, the middle and the top is obviously loose. So that is where these will be screwing in. So these actually sit onto them brace connections here and they'll screw through the brace and into the last, into the last top four connections. Right, that's one on. Right, so what we have remaining is four large screws and we have the four small screws. So what we need to do here is screw the final four connections in place, use the longer ones for the four holes on the sides and the short ones for the front and back. Right, so I think what I'll do is I will start with the four long screws that go into the sides first. So again, I'm gonna get them connections with the angles on, place them on the inside with the angle facing inwards. I'm just going to go ahead and hand feed this screw through, if I have it lined up. Yep, there we go. Now that is in, I'll hold it in place with an Allen key and line this up with the corner connection and screw. I'll repeat the process, I'm going to do all four corners and then we'll do the small ones on the front. All right, that is all four sides done. I'm now gonna make a start with the front. So this one is back to the small ones. And same again, I'll just push that in with my hand and using the Allen key, get it lined up straight and twist. Right, simple as that. So I'll repeat the process again we'll get them all tightened up. So here we have it, it is all screwed in now. So at the end here, it tells you, uh, at the end of the instruction, sorry, it does say pro tip, once the screws on the underside of the enclosure are tight, tighten the remaining screws while the enclosure is sat flat on a surface. This will make sure the enclosure is square and it will not rock. We actually recommend adding a little weight inside the enclosure before tightening the screws, like a 500 milliliter bottle of water. This will ensure that the legs will stay flat on the surface that you're building on. You can slide the lid into place and secure the locking pin. An optional padlock can be found on the website and this can hold the pin in place. So let's do a test. I never added any weight in because I'm just me and I'm stupid. But I started with the underside. Once it was all together, I did all the bottom screws in tight. I then work myself away around the whole bottom section to then the middle and to the top. So let's see now if this rocks. Nope, no rocking at all. That is absolutely solid. I am a genius. So then last thing to do then is to get the lid. Now, the lid comes with the locking pin, which is like a little T-shape, and that'll slot into here. So, looking at the, the holes here, this is where you'll slide it into, and the locking pin will come out on the other side. So, holding this like this, let's see if it's a snug fit. Oh, oh, that just glides on like a dream. We can then get the locking pin, close it into position, and that lid isn't going anywhere. So there we go, well, that is the final build. Yet another amazing bit of quality kit from Bug Bunks. Now, quickly, just wanna say thank you. I really do appreciate the sponsor on this video and sending me out this bit of kit. I've been so excited to test it. 
it's been in the works for a while now um, yeah absolutely buzzing man absolutely love it so obviously the side braces are different compared to the old um, model now the old model didn't have these it was just glued of course and it didn't have the tray so them and them is new but I think the rest of it is all identically the same like I say I'm not I don't want to go into too much detail with unboxing and stuff like that because I have did a previous one. If you haven't seen that, it will be linked in the video above somewhere at some point in this um, in this video. If you want to go back and watch that one, if you haven't seen it, compare the two models, that is totally up to you. But yeah, it is solid, man. I mean, look at it. We have the substrate tray that will help hold the moisture in. We have the cross ventilation of the sides, the tops. You can get the padlock to put into the sides here. Apologize about the dog, the puppy is crazy, if you can hear him barking. Um, obviously it's full of fingerprints and stuff with my dirty hands now. A uh, little wipe down and I mean this thing will be absolutely quality and amazing. So I am ready to go. So next week on the 19th I should be receiving my new tarantula. I am getting a Theraposa Apothesis, if that is the correct pronunciation of that name. Um, and it is going to be a big and it is only three to five centimeters uh, on this purchase i'm getting this from the spider shop um but it grows into a biggie so fingers crossed that i can do well with raising this tarantula fingers crossed that like, it becomes a female so it's going to last even longer and be even bigger again uh but yeah it's going to be getting housed in this for sure and at some point i'm going to be moving my tarantulas into large enclosures so stay tuned because we got some exciting stuff coming so again Big, big well done to Bug Bunks on creating this new design and a massive thank you for sending me this out to, to test build for you guys and to share with all the people who's watching the video right now. Anyone wants to go ahead and check out Bug Bunks store, the links will be down below in the video description for their store and their Instagram. Go ahead, drop them a follow and have a look at their store. They've got some amazing, amazing products. Now, the sling enclosures are still the same and still stackable the medium uh, the terrestrial enclosures like this one here obviously they've now changed to this model if you already own the older models they will stack on each other if you don't um sorry if you then order the new models these new models will not stack on the older versions although the new models are also stackable so if i buy another one of these i can then stack it on i can stack this one on top of the next one so i think that just about it just about covers everything um yeah that is it that is it so i guess we're gonna wrap up the video now again i mean this is an amazing bit of quit super strong super sturdy and uh i'm as excited to build it yeah the new enclosure now man ready for the new tarantula coming in now i just want to quickly apologize as well i know there's been a, a big amount of inactivity on the channel that's because it's been winter time i have been sick the missus and the two kids have also been sick uh, ants are in hibernation apart from two species uh, spiders I mean there's not a whole lot going on with them um, still just the same but I've got a lot of content lined up coming uh, I want to kick start this year off for this video and bring some new videos out I need to redo rehouse my um, two adults that I have my adult GBB and my um, Nandu Chromatis I need to take them out of the enclosures clean the enclosures out redo them and put them back in um, so we've got the rehousing cleaning video to do we've got the build video for this to do uh to add the, uh, the substrate set it up inside and move the transfer in so there's two videos lined up uh, i have some more and keeping videos coming so yeah guys just stay tuned i've got a lot more content coming again i apologize for the inactivity there just hasn't been a great amount of stuff going on for what time of year it is i don't want to bore you guys with just some simple feeding videos or anything like that but again, thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you to Bug Bunks for uh, supplying me with this. If you guys don't follow my social media already, go down in the video description below. You'll find Twitch, Instagram, Discord. You can contact me on any of them. If anyone wants to go and check out Bug Bunks and get themselves a purchase, you can grab yourself a discount by using my code at the checkout, which is Big Ross. Again, guys, appreciate you watching. Welcome back to the channel, and uh, I'll see you throughout the year, man. Big love.